hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog this is what the studio looks like right now there yeah a lot of stuff came yesterday a lot of parcels arrived and i made a bunch of the tickets so it's a mess but we're going to clean that up first thing right now so this is before and after so yeah this is what it looks like right now and now i can finally show you everything that has arrived first thing here's my ticket progress i do have around 80 or 90 done i reordered more of the ribbon because i kind of underestimated how much i would need i made them longer than i initially thought but yeah these are all done already and then i also restocked a bunch of my sticker designs because there's going to be a really exciting shop update that i cannot wait to tell you guys about and i'm going to be updating my shop today so i'm doing one of these filming editing and uploading everything in one day things so once this vlog is up the shop update is also going to be up so you will be able to get everything i'm going to show you wow look at that weather <laughs> But it is really nice for lighting, I think. It's like a huge softbox that's kind of diffusing the light for me and we don't have any sun glaring in. And I got Mila's blanket on the table so I could show you everything on there. It's like a nice backdrop, I think. I'm going to try if that looks good. She's not using it anyway, so... In here I made a new drawer for all the Patreon stuff and everything is already... All together in here i think it looks really cool and i'm now going to show you all the individual items that i got because i'm really excited about them i think i'm just going to use the table as much easier <laughs> um so i already prepped all the envelopes i decided on going with the white stamp so i already stamped all of them and i also already added the little stamp on here and then over here we're going to have the address label. I also already made all of these sheets because these stickers are going to go onto the pergamine bags right here and they're going to be sealed with this tape which I think is just really cute and it fits the theme nicely. So the first thing we have is the postcard print as always and I get these from Moo if anyone is curious I've gotten some questions last time so I thought I would just mention that as well yep then we have the sticker sheet with the golem effects and I get these from sticker app and then we have the exclusive sticker for my patrons this month also from sticker app and then we also have the stamps and this is the first time i got them from sticker app as well the other ones i made at home and i th did the gold foiling at home and i also did these at home so you can kind of see the difference in the foiling but i think this is a good solution just because of the amount of time and resources i would need to make all of these it's just easier to just order them and sticker app did an amazing job i think so yeah these i made at home but these i just ordered so i would be able to have them in the parcel and because i'm still insane <laughs> i made something at home anyway so we also have the ticket for the ballet show it's also going to go inside of the parcel so if i was to arrange one of them it would probably look something like this i would have all of these items in the bag i hope i'm not missing anything right now showing this to you adding this and the sticker is going right here and then I'm adding the ticket on top because I want this to be seen first kind of like an entry ticket to the parcel 
and everything is going in. And because the stars are so flat, there is no bumping or anything on the envelope, which was super important to me. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh my gosh, no. The envelopes don't close. They're too small. Oh my gosh, guys. I have 300 of them and I also already stamped everything. Okay, that's an issue. Or I have to fold all of these over like this. That would be an option. So folding these over. Yeah, that would, yeah, okay. Sonia, calm down. It's just an extra work step, it's no issue. Okay. Oh gosh. <laughs> I got really scared there for a second. So that's how I'm going to do that. And yep, that's it. And then I also have these golden wax seals to go with the whole gold and pink kind of color scheme that we're going with here. So we have gold here in the effects gold here in the stamps and then also gold in the wax seal and a few people were asking about these rewards yes if you sign up until the end of december then you're still going to get these um, for the crystal gazer parcel tier on my patreon um, and i'm going to leave a link to my patreon as always if you're interested in getting one of these now let's get to the actual exciting shop update that's going to happen. I reordered a bunch of my mermaid zines and then I also have a new product that I want to show you. So the mermaid zine, as always, it comes with a sticker sheet of my shell artwork. I'm just going to give you like a super quick flip. <laughs> that was, you know. This is restocked, maybe the last restock ever, who knows how well these go this time. But yeah, this is up in my shop as well when you're watching this. And now to the exciting part, I made a coloring book. So I ordered two sizes. We have A5 and A4 because I didn't really know the preferences you might have when using coloring books. I personally really like the small size because you can get the um, that accomplished feeling of finishing a whole spread much quicker. But I also get that some of the artworks might be even more fun to color in A4, so I got both sizes. And I'm going to give you a quick look. So I did this cover in a way so it would be kind of like partially colored in, so that's the idea. This is what the back looks like. I added all the artworks so you could maybe even cross them out once you finish them or something. And this is what the pages look like. This is printed on 115 GSM paper. So it's, it's nice paper that you could use with colored pencils the best, I think. I'm going to try uh, together with you guys later but I also left this space free most of the time so if you wanted to use felter pens or markers or anything like that you could just put a piece of paper in between and then also use it with any other medium that you wanted so we have some bigger spreads as well so all of the full illustrations that I've been doing in the past year and then also some other ones like these so in the full spreads, there are pages on the left that would also have bleed, but I didn't want to have two white sheets. So I just added a simple illustration here. So if you were to color with colored pencils, you could use all of them and maybe do some swatches here on the side, however you wanted. So this is what it looks like. I'm really excited about the coloring book. I have some of my favorite illustrations and then obviously all of my full illustrations that I did in here. Can I see? I'm really impressed about how well this turned out. Like um, I got these with awesome merchandise 
and they print just so well i don't know how they do it but these every single one of these is perfect i'm just so excited so then we also have the a4 one which is obviously bigger so you can get much more into detail so for example for pages like this you really are able to go in you know that's why i also got it in a4 it's not going to be much more expensive but just in case you want to you know work bigger and you could also tear the page out or take it out maybe with an exacto knife or something and then you could you know use it or frame it or whatever you want to do with these so yeah i'm really excited i've been wanting to make a coloring book for quite some time now and i finally just actually did it you know when you want to work on a project when you're kind of pushing it towards the next day again and again but i finally did it i'm really excited about this one and i cannot wait to take the promotional photos and finally upload it in my shop but now I want to test it out together with you guys and test the paper and maybe we can color one of the illustrations together. So I do actually have colored pencils. I have them in this case right here. And now we're going to use them to try out the paper. I don't know, maybe we should color her because I kind of intended this as the test page for people anyway. It's pretty simple not too complicated but you can kind of get a feel for the paper okay let's test this color somewhere oh this is fun i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh i'm going to bring you guys closer in so you can really see what's happening see <laughs> my messed up nails i was too hectic with these and started using my hands too early not sure if the color works perfect for her skin but that's the color i have for now I mean, um, oh my. I want to add like a highlight on her face. So that's why I kind of kept the first layer pretty light. So I could kind of go in like this. And we have like this nice light here on the edge. I think that looks kind of good. This is fun. I might actually fill up the whole thing by myself. <laughs> so now I think I want to add some blush or at least try. I'm going to use this reddish kind of color. Let's see. I have no experience with colored pencils or only little. I mean, I used to use them all the time, but not really in a serious way or in a very flat kind of coloring way so we have to see maybe i might have blushed too much i think to go back in on top so here's where i'm at right now i added the hair and i think i now want to try adding some wild gel pen for highlight i know i'm not <laughs> not even close to being done but I think it's going to look really cute. <laughs> I don't know. Also to kind of signify the glasses as well. Yeah, now I'm going to color the sweater. Maybe I'm going to give her like one of this. Yeah, this kind of color. So like a yellow sweater possibly and then maybe yeah white flower similar to my original drawing of her
Okay, here is what I just did with the colored pencils. And I think it looks neat. I'm really bad with traditional art, so please don't laugh at me for um, my skills. But it was really fun to just kind of color this in. And you can kind of see on the back, it works pretty well here. I pressed really hard, but that's just a me thing. Um, yeah, this paper is great for color pencils, but then I also wanted to try using markers on a different page. And this is still a bit wet, but it actually works really well. Like, let's go in. You can kind of see how even the coloring is. And I feel like marker would maybe even be the better choice. Just because you can get such even coloring. This is what it looks like on the back. So if you were to color something in with marker, you would obviously need to add a paper in between like I did here and kind of consider which page is more important. Which is why for these bigger illustrations like this, I only added like super simple ones on the back side so that, or a white page on the back side so even though the bleed is happening, you can still, you know. But yeah, I think I'm going to continue working on this one with markers because I feel like that's the that's actually a really good medium for this paper as well, which I'm kind of surprised about. I feel like the colored pencils also work really well. And if you have more colored pencil skills than me, which you obviously have because I have none, then that could also be a fun medium to use. But yeah, this is really fun. I'm just, um, I'm listening to the Three Point Perspective podcast and just chilling out here and just coloring. It's really fun. Now I wanna try adding the, the pattern onto the skirt and I'm having way way too much fun with this like the markers are the charm here like I didn't know they would work so well but they do and it's really fun and I'm contemplating making another coloring book Let me move out just a tiny bit. Yeah, I'm contemplating making another coloring book. Oh god. <laughs> um, in a way, just for myself, just with outfits like these, like really simple coloring pages, there wouldn't be too much of. No, Nila. Just very simple coloring pages, that wouldn't be too much of a commitment. So. Like this one, for example, right here, that you can just color in between other stuff because that's really fun. I want to have something like this, I think. So I'm going to also add some pink, maybe. to add the dark brown maybe that's going to help but this is just so much fun like just coloring something in the pressure is really low i think that's what i like most so yeah if you end up getting the coloring book then i can highly recommend you to use markers And that's kind of why I tried out both. So I could include photos in the Etsy listing of both and how well that worked. Yeah, the, the pattern is just see me successful, but it works, I guess. And I'm using the Ateza markers, by the way, the skin tone set. I really want to make a video about them in the next couple of days. I, I've been wanting to do that for a while now. And yeah, I love them. 
the colors are just so muted and nice and perfect for these kinds of outfits as well. And yeah, I wanna make a video and I think I'm going to do it the same way I did it here. So I think I'm going to make the lines digitally and then print them out like I have them here and then just color them with my markers like that. That's just so fun. Like, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to do it exactly like it is here. So let's move out just a tiny bit. So again, here we have the marker coloring. You can kind of see the bleeding that's happening on the other side. And then here we have the colored pencil and obviously no bleeding. But I feel like, I mean, this is just because I only pressed really lightly. If you can see right here, if you press more, then you will get a much more even coloring. But obviously with Marcus, the coloring is even more even and looks really nice. And it's also really fun to color these that way. But I'm glad I tried both because now I'm going to be taking photos for my Etsy and I wanted to kind of yeah be able to show both techniques in there so people could kind of tell if it would be something for them. But yeah, I think I'm going to, once I have the photos, color this one in as well, just because the outfits actually are really fun. And there is one color that works really well for the skirt in the skin tone set, this one right here. And I'm going to use that for the skirt maybe, or this one also works really well. Yeah, <laughs> I'm already planning, this is really fun. By the way, I'm just taking the product pictures for my shop update and I forgot to also show you these guys right here. I got a four prints from Awesome Merchandise. This is what they look like. They are, you can kind of hear, <laughs> they are really thick and nice quality. Let's... Yeah, wow, my hand is a little shaky, but you can see nonetheless. And these are going to go up in my shop as well. This is like a trial product in my shop. If they go well, then I might order some other designs as well. And yeah, these are also from Awesome Merchandise, in case you're wondering where I got them from. And I just added my logo and info with just a label sticker on the back. And yeah, I'm really excited to also add these to my shop and see what people think. Here's a little size comparison to my usual postcards. They are quite a bit smaller than these prints since yeah, this is A6 and this is A4, I mean, obviously. But yeah, just in case you've gotten one of those and are wondering, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I also have an order to pack for someone named Unique and I thought we could also do that together. So we have the extra sticker, thank you card and everything. And I ordered, wait a sec, where are they? I ordered these from Sticker App and I accidentally got them in glossy and I feel like they look kind of awkward. I don't know, um, I'm not a huge fan of glossy stickers, but that's why I'm just adding these to orders as well. So people just get a second extra sticker. And yeah, I restocked a bunch of my stickers because I knew that I would be getting the coloring books. So for this shop launch, I purposefully stocked up on some other stuff as well. And I also accidentally got this one in glossy and mirror, but I actually think this looks really fun. So she's up in my shop as well. And then also all the October rewards are up because now is the two month cycle of those complete. Everyone has theirs. So I also added the remaining items into my shop. That's kind of how it works. So for example, the Dark Academia stuff is going to go up towards the end of January. But I think I already explained that, I'm not sure. The light in here is kind of bad. So that's an issue. Or the packing table light is kind of bad. 
Um, the table is very useful and I love using it, but that's kind of an issue I'm facing. And some people requested me to do like a video of just me packing orders. So just some ambient music and then oh, there's something weird on here and I'm taking that off. And then just, yeah, paper ASMR and stuff. So I think for that purpose, I'm going to move the table more towards the window. And I want to film that video once the coloring book's up and I'm packing those orders. Because I feel like the book packing with the tissue paper is going to be much more satisfying to look at. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But yeah, and also I'm going to have a bunch of orders to pack then, hopefully. And then I'm able to make a longer video. And I'm looking forward to filming that. I want to get maybe two camera angles or something. And then, um, yeah, just film the really, or just edit in the really satisfying parts. Here we go, all that's done. Today's art book is going to be something a little more special or unique. And this is an art book by Evie Baum. And it's a German artist, I think. At least they are talking in German in the social media. And in here are some sketches and artworks that they have made. And I, yeah, a collection of sketches, studies and fan art. I've been following them for quite a while now. And I actually won this in a giveaway. This and a really beautiful tote bag. So yeah, they are really good at drawing handsome men and just have a beautiful style and they also have a really good comic in case you want to check that out yeah let's look at some of the finished artworks i have this as a print actually i met them at a convention once and i'm just just in love i don't know <laughs> they are amazing beautiful colors beautiful line quality and so on. Yeah, I highly recommend checking them out and maybe picking up one of their books as well if you want or print or something. Yeah, this is the book I wanted to show you today. So for the rest of the day we did some Christmas shopping and I oh she's so cute. Um oh Gesundheit. And um yeah, I already edited the vlog and got everything ready and now I'm really excited to just, you know, upload everything, get the shop update live. That's just my favorite part. So, oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are, thank you so much for checking out my coloring book. And yeah, I will be seeing you very soon in my next video. Bye.